Hi, I'm Charles Stewart Jr. and I'm going to show you how to use your TV as a second monitor for your computer. Um, what's cool about these new uh, LCDs and uh, um, plasmas are that they have um, basically computer um, connections on them, uh, computer monitor connections. To them, they'll have a VGA connection, which you should be familiar with if you plugged in your computer because you'll see it. There's a VGA connection graphics cards on your computer. Check and make sure your your computer has uh, two ports on the back of it. Make sure you know because some uh, lower end computers may only have uh, one port, and that's a uh, um, because the graphics card is integrated into the uh, motherboard. But uh, again, most computers will have both uh, options on there. One will be DVI and one will be a VGA. So if you've got that VGA, which is usually blue, then you're good to go. Uh, also, while most of the LCDs and uh, them not all do, so you. If you've got a newer one, you most definitely probably have one. So uh, you'll want to look on the back of your LCD and uh, try to find it. And ours is right here. So you're going to take your monitor cable and you're going to uh, pretty much just plug it into the back of this. And you also want to make sure when you do that that your uh, TV is set on the input. So you're going to cycle through the inputs like HDMI component until you get to the one that says VGA or computer. Now that I plugged them in, you'll probably notice that this thing hasn't uh, come up yet. Well, that's because I haven't told the computer that there's two displays yet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into my settings, and I'm going to go down. In this case, I'm using a NVIDIA graphics card, so I'm going to my NVIDIA settings. And uh, if you don't see something like this and you have a NVIDIA card, you can go to the NVIDIA website and download it. It's pretty much universal for any car that's a NVIDIA card. Uh, same with ATI. So I'm going to go through and I'm looking at NView display settings and I'm going to go for the horizontal span and as you can see it's giving me, uh, you can do clone where you can have um, your monitor basically mimic. So if you've got uh, a, a monitor cable that's long enough you could have maybe the computer off to the next to your TV and then have it hooked up to your TV so if you're watching a movie on your computer you can choose to clone it and see what whatever's on your computer screen on your TV screen at the same time which is really good if you're you know using your computer to watch movies on um, but for this we want dual display so we want to widen our canvas so we're gonna come over here and select our setting and it'll flicker a little bit and then it'll ask you do you want to keep these settings and you're gonna hit yes so now you should see both computers you know, now your TV is acting as a computer monitor and you should see a nice wide canvas uh, that you can scroll the mouse back and forth on uh, that enables you to um, now have your TV hooked up to your computer